Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about my official build. Now, this is one of those things where I notice a lot of different YouTubers try out so many different builds and don't know what they really want because a build might not work for the first like couple hours of the game. Uh, a build might not be making his shots, might not be making his dunks or layups, might not be grabbing rebounds the way they thought it would. But for me, I knew that when I wanted to come out with my official build, I knew that it was going to be the build that I wanted and that it would be the build that I would show to you guys constantly, whether it's me streaming on Facebook, whether it's me making content here on YouTube, this would be the build that you guys see. So today I'm going to be officially dropping my build. Make sure you guys hit that like button. The gold is 5,000 likes. Make sure you guys hit that. Um, as well as let me know in the comment section what you guys think about my build um let me know what your builds are inside the comment section because i'm not opposed to trying other builds even though i'll be playing with this build mainly so uh let's go ahead and hop into the video and i hope you enjoy all right guys check it out i have two builds on screen we're only going to be talking about one build today which is my playmaking shot creator i know that a lot of bigs out there want to know what the best build for bigs are you guys see the name I'll tell you all about that maybe like in a week or two, but right now it's all about my playmaking shot creator. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and go into a fresh new build creator just so I can teach you guys all about my build and why I chose what I chose. So you guys already know what the name is gonna be, man. The name is David Carter, but this time around, we're gonna put a little spin on it, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna put a little spin on the name. Uh, Carter. Ooh, that's, that's a good last name, Carter Jr. I'm gonna be a point guard, right hand. My number, my number is usually always 15, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. So, check it out. As far as the pie goes, I want to tell you that this right here is the pie. If you do not have this pie, this is not my build. Now, now check it out. I'm not saying create my build. I'm saying that this is my official build and this is what I'm going to be running with for the lifespan of 2K. As far as physical profile goes, you, you already know what I want, man. I want the best speed. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get more pies like they said in the beginning of the game. So everybody had to create what they seen inside of the demo. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and max out all of my slashing, right? Now, you guys notice I get 10 badges if I max out all my slashing. That's crazy, right? Now, check this out. We're going to go ahead and max out what I want as far as defense goes, right? Now, as far as shooting goes, this is where things get a little hasty. All right, now, you notice my ball handle is down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back on that post hook. I'm gonna come and max out my ball handling. All right, so now, we got a couple other things that we could play around with. We got 18 attributes that we could play around with. So what I wanna do is I wanna even everything out, which means I wanna even out my shooting badges to 20. I'll show you guys that. All right, 19, we're gonna take down my standing dunk. Let's go ahead and put 20 on that. And now we got 20 on playmaking. Now check this out. I can put all this back up to finishing, but it'll only give me five badges. So I need to figure out what did I take down to give me five badges, which was this right here. Now, I have six finishing badges five defensive badges, 20 shooting, and 20 playmaking badges. I know what you're thinking. Bro, put them, put them shooting badges all the way up. You need all the shooting badges you can get. To be honest, I told y'all, this build can slash as well as shoot, as well as playmake, as well as defend. You know what I'm saying? So I need my slashing badges. I need my defensive badges, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I went with a compact build. Um, my height is 6'4", didn't go too too far up, too far down, okay? Now, I did go with minimum weight. It tears up my interior defense, but it helps my lateral quickness. Doesn't really give any of other effect besides my acceleration and vertical is good. Wingspan, you know I went minimum. You know I went minimum. Check this out, man. 87 mid-range, 88 three-point, 89 ball handling. You know what I did, man. You know what I did. So, as far as takeovers go, I had to go with a shot creating takeover. That's why I'm a playmaking shot creator. Okay, so just to let you know, if you want to be a shooter, 
go ahead pick the sharp takeover but i can tell you guys this right now when you green a shot whether it's in my career whether it's in uh park rec pro and whatever the case may be you get a jump shot landing animation every single time you shoot the ball and you green it you even get some jump shot landings when you fall white so there, to me there's really no reason for the sharp takeover this year you know what i mean um some people would say there's really no no reason for the shot creating takeover since moving shots are really uh like buffed right now but a nerf is coming i tweeted out about mike wayne actually uh nerfing moving shots and dribble pull-ups and stuff real soon so i'm saying if you want to hit the moving shots going forward you might want to create this build now let me go ahead and uh go to test build so i can show you guys what my ideal badge setup would be and everything like that all right let's see all right so first and foremost 99 overall this is what it will look like this is the potential of what this entire build would look like you've already seen that now as far as these badges go when it comes to actually banging with the bigs these are the two two badges you want contact finisher now it is for slashers but when you go into the rim it's always contact all right giant slayer you get a boost to your layup you know what i'm saying when you when you going against them bigs now what i have currently on my build right now is this this is the way my build currently looks but i currently have my finishing maxed out so i can move these badges around any way i want to at the moment but this is what i currently have now i'm gonna go ahead and confirm that um shooting badges ideally this is what you would want And what was the last badges I had? I believe, did I have tireless shooter? No, I think I had flexible. No, I had difficult shots. All right, so currently, this is what I had. All right. All right, currently, this is what I had right here. These are the badges that I'm going for in the game. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why no Hall of Fame badges? Some people say that Deadeye is currently broke. I could take away Deadeye, go Hot Zone Hunter, and go Range Extender Hall of Fame if I wanted to. But right now, this is ideally what I'm looking for. This is a pretty good standard build. Remember, I'm not a pure sharp. So as far as Hall of Fame badges go, I'm not sad that I won't have any. You feel me? And plus, remember, when you reach a certain point, when you max out all the badges, you can change them up however you want. So you're really going to get a feel for what works and what doesn't. As far as playmaking badges go. Now, these are the badges that I'm going for. Where is it? and which one is it i think it was Bob city passer and i think it's space creator all right so currently these are the badges that i want for my player all right i know what you guys are thinking dog what why you wh what's up with that why these badges i'm telling you right now in order for your player to move around the court and and break ankles and stuff like that these are going to be the badges you need and i also have supplemental badges so that means that floor general dimer lob city passer that's for me helping my teammates be better if, if that makes any sense to you now if i wanted to be a a-hole and just be all about dribbling and myself this is what my badges will look like but i'm not that type of player so this is what this is what i'm essentially gonna have now some people say that space creator doesn't work so what I would honestly do, I would come here and do my badges like that because I've been hearing through the grapevine about certain badges that don't work. And Space Creator is one of those badges where you hit step back shots and step back movements and stuff like that. When you hit step backs, it's supposed to create space. But this badge allows you to do that more often and better. But some people says that the badge really isn't working like that. So right now, this is what I'm gonna go with. And I know what y'all thinking. Why don't you have any Hall of Fame badges? ipod what's wrong with you i'm telling you guys right now if you want to be good at the game don't always rely on hall of fame badges i mean don't get me wrong some things like range extender green machine uh hot zone hunter on hall of fame they're god they're godly don't get me wrong they're godly but don't just bank on hall of fame bailing you out all the time you know what i'm saying speaking of which
Don't bank on getting bailed out, guys. Just don't bank on it. You know what I mean? Don't bank on it. All right, so let me go ahead and put these back. Let me see. All right, so like I was saying, that's that. Now, as far as defensive badges go, I wanted to do a little bit of everything. So I decided to go pick dodger. No, not, not interceptor. Intimidator, clamps, and I believe it was off-ball pest. So these are currently the badges that I'm looking for. And the reason why I'm looking for these badges is because for pick dodger, of course you want to try to get through picks as bad as possible. Intimidator allows people to miss. Clamps allow you to stay with the person that you're actually guarding. And off-ball pest allows you to just hold on to people. You know what I mean? Like if they running around, if they got slippery off-ball and all that, it, it helps you get around. But off-ball pests can be taken off and traded for pickpocket. Or a tireless defender now the reason why i say tireless defender is pretty good is because when you hit those screens they're taking your energy fam they're taking it bad so tireless defender is pretty good and pickpocket is good for people who think that they could just dribble all around and just run out of stamina and still do what they want to do go ahead and get in their pockets real quick but i'm telling you now if you want to go a uh, gold pick dodger you can i'm not i'm not against it i'm not against it all right I'm not against it. If you want to do that, fine by me. But I'm telling you now, you don't need it on gold unless you feel like you can't do anything, okay? But those are the current um, badges that I would like. As far as my jump shot goes, I already made a jump shot video. I hope you guys check it out. But let's go into my career so I can actually show you the build. All right, like I told you guys, this is my build. So as far as progression goes, this is what the build currently looks like. It is a 92 overall. All slashing is done. All playmaking is done. All defensive and rebounding is done. The only thing I have left is shooting. All right, that's the only thing I have left. But everything that I want in shooting is already maxed out. As far as badges go, I told you guys, ideally, contact finisher and giant slayer. You know what I'm saying? Quick draws on goal. Range extenders on goal. Hot zone hunters on hall of fame for me right now. I'm, I'm kind of rep grinding and badge grinding right now so i have hot zone hunter on hall of fame because i have a rep method for shooters so if you want to see that video make sure you put in the comment section to say yo ipod drop that video now playmaking like i told you guys ideally you know what i'm saying lob city passing for me is on silver right now i'm running a, a playmaking method as well I'll, i might drop that playmaking method video for you guys if you want that but i know that the homie trey should be dropping that real soon on his channel so i ain't dropped mine yet but basically, ideally, these are the badges that I'm going for. You know what I'm saying? Defensive. I told y'all, look, Pig Dodger, Intimidator, Clamps. I got two more defensive badges to go. That means one's going to Pig Dodger and the other one's going to Off-Ball Pest, all right? Um, I have no skill boost on right now. Uh, my player appearance, as far as my animations go, uh, I can tell you guys right now, the jump shot that I'm using, base 38 is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I made a video all about that but i went and picked up my old jump shot from nba 2k19 you know what i'm saying nba 2k19 jump shot is insane it's base 49 you know what i'm saying rudy tim duncan 65 35 you know what i'm saying i had a lot of success with this jumper inside the wreck so i think i might take this to my career and try it out now this jump shot right here was from a a, a facebook follower you know what I'm saying? and um that's why i say rodney don't sell me this one was also from a Facebook follower, but I actually like this one better because it has base 38 in it and it's pretty slingshot quick. If you see that, like as soon as his foot step back, he pulled right up. Now 2K lab joint is kind of the same way, but it's Steph Curry, which means it's not slingshotty. It's more of like a flick of the wrist type. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my jump shot right there. And what else do I have to show you guys on this build? Um, I think that's about it. Um, honestly, as far as like playing my next games and stuff like that, um, I have caught a couple L's recently, um, trying out different rep methods, but my main rep method that got me all my finishing badges, got me all W's. Um, this, this right here, this 136 to 118 versus Orlando. Let me show you what happens when you get the shooting method, bro. 106 points, bro. Yeah, I ain't had no assists. I went. 31 for 68 but it was me learning my hot zone spots and stuff like that i did all this without hot zone hunter i did 31 for 68 without hot zone hunter so just imagine what it's going to be like 
when I actually put that thing on. All right, but uh, I think that's really about it. Oh, let me hit the neighborhood real quick, just to let you guys know inside of a video because I actually haven't made a video about this. I was thinking about trying to get other people that have what I have to make a video, but let me show you guys real quick, man. Oh yeah, I'm hype. Am I hype? Am I too much? I don't know. <laughs> But uh, these loading screens for 2K are always going to be the same. It takes almost forever to get into a neighborhood. Jeez. Um, but yeah, uh, I do want to thank everybody for watching for sure. Uh, this is probably going to be like the end of the video, mainly because um, I've been rambling on for a couple of minutes now. Um, all right. And yeah, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got the logo again, man. We back at it, y'all. We back at it with the YouTube logo, man. Let's get it. I about King Carter, the YouTuber, is back in the building, baby. Make sure you guys hit that like button for the YouTube logo. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all leave a comment in the comment section. If you want to know anything else about my build as far as, like, signatures and stuff like that, I think you did see my dribble signatures, but they will change within the next week. Um, I've been watching Um Davis, She's a Holic, checking out their dribbles. Um, I need to watch G-Man. I need to watch Hank, see what their dribbles are, too. But I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.